I'ma mask up and take it, 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 mask up and take it. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks, the only mask channel that's all like... And in today's video we are unboxing a Slipknot mask. Hard to believe, I know. How many times have I made that joke on this channel? Seven. Seven is the exact number. And as you can see from the front of the box, this is going to be an All Hope Is Gone Cory, but not just any All Hope Is Gone Cory. There's a story with this one. It's time for a story. Let's do a story. It's time for a story. I really like using that Bo Burnham skit, but uh, it got me demonetized last time, so I'm not going to use it anymore. So I got this package from my buddy Ozzy Denman, who has sent in masks before, but it has been years. Uh, I think he took a break from the mask game, and this mask is actually his return. And uh, everything on my table is just going fucking batshit crazy right now. Alright, so right on top we've got a note. I'll go ahead and read that real quick. AJ, sup? Here we finally have it. The prototype All Hope Is Gone Cory. My all-time favorite Slipknot mask. No apologies, nine-year-old fangirl and proud. Hope you enjoy this free mask. And I know it'll have a good home. I look forward to seeing your DVD of it. This mask is available to purchase on my eBay store, Seventh Who Knots Store, or directly via PayPal by messaging me on Instagram. I will drop his information down below for any of you guys that may want to go pick one of these up. Made to order, they are $150 plus shipping. I also make .5 J's and I'm starting a new 2016 V-Man Sculpt. Look out for that. Say no to drugs and alcohol, Ozzy. Then we've got a little Corey Taylor wearing a fancy little hat down there. All right, let's go ahead and pull this thing out and take a look at it. And you guys heard correctly, this is a free mask. Somewhere in Australia, Charles Barker is having a small stroke. My pain! Is your lesson. You understand? Here we have it. Holy cow, look at that thing. Now right off the bat, you're probably noticing some differences between Corey's regular All Hope Is Gone mask and this All Hope Is Gone mask. And like Ozzy mentioned in that note, this is a prototype Corey Taylor mask, meaning Corey never actually wore this version. As you can see, it's still got the head attached here. It is sewn on, and obviously on Corey's later versions, he had stitching but no top head. Looked like all the stitches had been cut and the top had been removed. And also, it's just a more different sculpt. There's like flatter features on the face here. The mouth obviously looks a little different, and then the paint job is clearly different as well. And the only reason that we even know that this mask exists is because I believe, and I hope I'm getting the story straight here because everybody seems to remember it slightly differently and there's no like concrete evidence but years and years ago a couple Slipknot masks came up for sale and we believe that they were being sold by Sean Kane one of them being the All Hope Is Gone Clown or one of the All Hope Is Gone Clowns I should say and one of them being this prototype Cory mask. From what I understand neither of these masks ended up selling because Clown found out that Sean was selling these and he ripped his ass about it and that's just the story that I've been told so it could be completely different not stating these as facts I'm just letting you guys know how I remember it happening. I had a couple friends that were definitely trying to get that All Hope Is Gone clown, so they would know more than anybody, I guess. But yeah, this is the prototype Cory, and uh, it's fucking weird and strange, and when Ozzy hit me up and asked if I'd be interested in making a video about one, I said, yeah, absolutely, because I love stuff like this, just little one-off masks that have a little bit of history, but not a lot of people know about them, and it gives me the chance to educate you guys on them. I'm guessing a pretty fair number of you guys did not know that this mask existed. Unfortunately, we only have the one photo to go off of, but the mask itself isn't that much different from Cory's actual All Hope Is Gone. I don't even know who made this actual version, the one that was for sale. But there's been rumors for quite some time now that Jordu Shell actually made one of the All Hope Is Gone Corys, and uh, I don't know how true that is. You guys would have to talk to Jordu about that. But yeah, super strange little mask. Obviously, we've got a very solid replica here. I'm super stoked to add this to the collection. I don't know if I want to stick it with my All Hope Is Gone Corys or with my one-off masks. I'll probably have to stick it with the one-off mask since it was never used. As you guys can see on the back here, we've got a nice set of heavy-duty leather buckles that I assume match the original. I'm guessing it was probably strapped exactly like Corys. All Hope Is Gone masks. Got a nice thick latex cast here. I will show you guys up close here in a little bit towards the end of the video. Yeah, just an all around superb mask. Definitely stoked to have this. I'm definitely stoked to be one of the first with this replica. And I'm super excited to let you guys know about the prototype Cory. I just feel like it's an interesting piece. So yeah, huge shout out to Ozzy for the mask. Thank you very, very much. Gotta keep that free mask chain going. Free mask guy. As I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna drop all of his information down below. Make sure to go check him out. I do have one of his V-Mans, the 26 
16 months his old ones and they are fucking awesome definitely the most accurate that i've seen so i can't imagine how much more accurate the new sculpt is going to be with him perfecting all that stuff used to have one of his jays it was a little bit small i ended up doing a giveaway i think for that one but yeah i think he's a highly underrated artist in the hobby and i think that if he stuck around full time he would definitely gain some traction wink wink so yeah like i said thank you very very much ozzy super stoked to own this thank you very much and with all that aside i'm gonna go ahead and close this video out giving you guys some nice up close shots of this thing and that'll be that so i hope you guys enjoyed watching say no to drugs and alcohol and until next time we will see you later